Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best gaming mouse pads. Starting at number 5 Razer Atlas. If speed is your top priority, a soft, cloth mouse pad is not for you, and even a hybrid mouse pad will slow you down. You need a hard, smooth, low friction surface made of plastic, ceramic, aluminum, or glass like our favorite hard surface mouse pad, the Razer Atlas. The Atlas is Razer's first tempered glass mouse pad, and it's entirely analog, no RGB, no Razer Synapse, nothing. Its smooth, matte surface is micro-etched with two micrometers texturing that's designed to work with optical sensors, and features an easy-to-clean oleophobic coating. The Atlas felt amazing and tracked perfectly with every laser and optical mouse we threw at it, Though Razer recommends using a mouse with a Razer Focus Pro 30K optical sensor, such as the Death Adder V3 Pro, of course. Its oleophobic coating offered just the right amount of friction, read, none, for maximizing speed without sacrificing precision. Coming at number 4. Razer Strider Chroma. The Razer Strider Chroma has a hybrid surface, harder and slicker than a cloth mouse pad but with enough texture for controlled, precise movements. It's the best of both worlds, perfect for gamers who need both speed and control, and it's water-resistant and easier to keep clean than most cloth mouse pads. The Razer Strider Chroma only comes in one size, extended, which is large enough to hold both your keyboard and mouse without covering your entire desk. The Strider Chroma has a thick, no-slip rubber base and looks fantastic on your desk with seamless edges, no visible stitching, and 19 zones of bright, chroma-infused RGB lighting that can be customized in Razer's Chroma Studio with different colors and effects, including audio-reactive effects. The main downside to the Strider Chroma is its price, with an MSRP of $130, it's practically like buying a keyboard or a mouse. But it's so beautiful it just might be worth it. At Number 3 Cooler Master MP750. If you don't want to spend much on a mouse pad but you also don't want to give up flashy RGB, the Cooler Master MP750 M features RGB lighting and can usually be found for $20 to $35, though the price fluctuates. According to Cooler Master, the finely textured cloth offers a slick texture and smooth maneuverability, but while it was sufficient for the average game session during our testing, it didn't otherwise feel particularly special. It does, however, have a spill-resistant coating, we spilled water on it and the large droplet rolled off and was easy to clean up with a tissue. It also features a detachable cable for when you don't need RGB. The MP750 MS RGB border shines pretty brightly. A handy button lets you cycle through static colors without opening software. Unfortunately, black stitching interrupts the RGB frame, and we're a little worried about getting things, such as jewelry caught between the loops and causing damage. Number 2 of my list. Razer Firefly V2. If you're looking for RGB, the Razer Firefly V2 has it in spades. This ultra-colorful mouse pad has a whopping 19 customizable zones and its bright LEDs visibly outshine the competitors, despite the relatively thin lighting strips. The mouse pad has what Razer calls a micro-textured plastic surface that's fit for competitive gaming. It feels slightly rough and enables speedy mouse movements, but it easily gathers fingerprints and smudges. The Firefly V2 is only 0.12 inches 3 millimeters thick, but its rubber base prevented any movement during our tests. It has a cable catch, which might seem like a small detail, but it successfully kept our mouse's wire in check. RGB tweakers have full reign over the 19 lighting zones through Razer Synapse 3. You get brightness controls, 7 presets, including a reactive one that works with supporting Razer mice, and you can sync the lighting with other Razer peripherals and devices. We also appreciated the toggle to switch off lighting when the display is turned off. The software's Chroma Studio is where the more advanced customization occurs, with numerous effects layers and the ability to control effect cycling speeds, duration, and intensity, but its complexity means it takes longer to master than simple apps. And number 1. SteelSeries QCK Heavy. If you don't need RGB, 
Does anyone need RGB? The SteelSeries QCK Heavy is an extra thick, non-RGB cloth mouse pad that comes in three sizes. SteelSeries also makes a standard QCK mouse pad that's one-third as thick as the QCK Heavy, but we feel the slight extra cost is worth the extra durability and more stable surface you get with the QCK Heavy. Both the QCK Heavy and the regular QCK feature a microwoven cloth surface that makes for easy but precise sliding and are hand washable. Decoration is light, a small Steel Series logo in the bottom left corner is the only thing that might distract you from your game. The mouse pad has a non slip rubber base that keeps it firmly rooted to your desk, it didn't budge no matter how hard our reviewer moved their mouse. The only minor gripe with the QCK Heavy is that it's so thick that it can take a bit of extra time to flatten out when you first take it out of the box. This isn't too much of an issue if you don't plan on moving it a lot, but be careful not to keep it rolled up too long when traveling. We suggest placing a heavy book or weight on top of it overnight before the first use. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.